The cost of genome sequencing has plummeted. For around £100, anyone can find out about their genetics, and thousands of people want to. These are tests which can tell you about your ancestry, what foods you might be allergic to, and even how your muscles respond to different types of exercise. So could finding out about your genetics help you get fitter? If I'm gonna find out about my DNA, I need to send some of my cheek cells off to a lab and wait for the results. While that's happening, I'm gonna to talk to someone who really knows about getting the most from their body. Asha Phillip was the first British woman to win a global 100 metre title when she was crowned world youth champion. So, she is fast. How much of somebody's ability do you reckon is down to their genetics versus, say, training and determination? Everyone thinks that they can just run in a straight line. Everyone says, well, they can play football with their bunch in the park with their friends. But when you have to really put the work and time and effort in, all the sacrifices, I think it's down to the athlete. And you can have the best genes in the world, I suppose. If you don't have that winning mentality, it's not going to work. If your head's not in the game, then forget it. <laughs> you literally have to train your mind as well as your body, and I think that's the hardest thing to do. Have you had your DNA analysed? No, funny enough. I would like to try, though. Why would you be interested in it? Just to see if I'm actually going to be fat when I finish, firstly. <laughs> <laughs> And probably to just um, to know more about myself, and I feel like this would help me progress in well for the future. Do you want to test out how we perform on the track and then compare DNA results later on? That'd be a good idea, but you might want to change because. Uh... No, no, I'm gonna wear this. I got, I got my PE kit over there. Yeah. Go, why don't you stretch or something? Like, you're gonna need it. <laughs> you know Thank you, you beat me, but you didn't humiliate me. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so Ash is going to send off a genetic test, and I'll stick to my day job, for now. But why is she so much faster than me? I'm really keen to find out about the links between our genetic information and our health and fitness. Hi, that's me. Hi, Deb. Dr Jack Kreindler thinks that understanding your genes will definitely help you be fitter stay healthier and ultimately live longer. So why should we take care of our bodies? Because you've only got one. <laughs> you can replace bits of it, but it's important to look after it and to do the very best you can for it um, so that you can use it for as long as possible to work, live, thrive and uh, hopefully you know, avoid as much of the preventable illnesses as you possibly can. So how do you treat people here? We test people's physiology and fitness, um, whether it's in our lab or using kind of wearable tech. What we're interested in is anything that can shrink the gap between health span and lifespan. Let's try and get your genes to work as well as humanly possible by doing the kinds of things that it turns out helps athletes win gold medals. It's a complete eye-opener for me that your genome can tell you what kind of exercise might be right for you to give you the best shot at Love Island looks, as well as being fast on the track. I've come to Manchester Met University to find out more about the link between sport and genetics. But first, Dr. Alan Williams and his colleague Steve are putting me through my paces to check out my VO2 max score. When you're ready, Dad. So a bit faster now. Keep going, Dad. This is good stuff. Try and keep it going. Try and keep it going. Don't give in now. This is excellent stuff, Dad. Let's go. Three, two, one. Straddle the belt for me, Dad. Superb, excellent Superb. stuff. Well done. How does that feel? Crazy. Your value uh, of your VO2 max test score came out as about 54. Something in the mid-50s is uh, above average for a young man of your age. With elite athletes, how much of their success is based off of good genetics and how much is because they train really hard and practice? Is it nature or nurture? It's a bit of both. If anything, the evidence is that the nature bit is a bit more than half. As you start finding out all those genes that will affect performance, what happens then? Probably the first thing that might happen is some sort of individualization of training. So this is tailoring training programs to an individual's genetics to let them get the most out of their training and the most out of their nutrition. What do you think about those consumer tests that are available right now? I think the idea behind them is valid. 
and not all my colleagues agree with that actually, but I think in the future when more is actually known about genetics of exercise and sport, that it will be useful for people to know their genetics, whether they're elite athletes or whether they're maybe just people trying to keep fit or stay healthy. The problem I have with them at the moment is that the scientific evidence on which they base their tests is extremely limited and from what I can see, um, the reports you get from those companies doesn't inform you of that. So in my opinion, they've jumped the gun. They've gone too early in trying to convert the scientific evidence and translate it for consumers. Let's see how my DNA test compares to Ashes. I'm feeling pretty confident about this, I think. Do you have an advantage to strength training? No. No advantage, yeah, me neither. No. What about typical muscle mass? Well, one of mine says increased. Uh, uh, okay. Well, mine's just typical. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Let's just skip past that one. All right, I've got to find one that I beat you on at least. <laughs> I have increased risk of injury. Oh, no. I've got typical risk. You are typical risk. Yeah. No, mine, that's not good for me to have an increase in no, you typical. Not. No, yeah. So just comparing DNA, we're very, very similar. We are through this, but obviously that wasn't the same as on the track, so... All right, I'll keep going on about it. I'm just, <laughs> I was talking about this. 